Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode here, I'm going to basically uh, show you an, an, an unedited, another director's cut kind of uh, video, at least in the beginning. Uh, the reason for that is I've basically forgotten to uh, start the video on my smartphone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S7. I got it because it was waterproof or water resistant so I could ride in the rain. It's also a pretty good upgrade from what I used to have. So that's what happened. I I basically started uh, my Insta361s and then forgot to start the audio and video or my, my Samsung Galaxy S is also my audio so it's also my backup footage. I use uh, the smartphone for uh, an external audio since it has speakers on both sides. That's on the left and on the right. So um, let's let's begin, and I'll tell you the whole process or the process in this short section of the video. So this is uh, basically how I start. I already have the GPS going, and um, getting the time on my smartphone because the GPS uh, time that you see is also the same time on the smartphone so I that's how I sync up the GPS so I'm putting the phone on the harness my chest mount which I, you'll probably see right here shortly oh and uh, another thing is I do change the color which you probably just saw now it, it's it's uh, focused on me and I'm screwing in the chest mount and that's the rig that I set up and that's the Insta 361. That's the chest mounted view. And then I'm um, coming across here and yep, I'm clapping to get a sync in the sound, which doesn't exist. So you saw that from the front camera view and the chest mounted view. Now I'm back on the chest mounted view. And sometimes you'll see things a little blurry. Um, that's because the way the 360 camera works, it if you're too close to it, you'll get this blurred area, and you know it, I can't do anything about that. If you're just too close, you're too close. So what I do is I zoom in. I would typically zoom in so that doesn't even show up, and that's something you do on your uh, video editor. So, uh, and and the GPS data that you see comes from a GPS tracker that you can get free online. And I use Verb Editor to uh, to create the uh, the GPS overlay that you see right here. And essentially, I take that information and overlay it on the video as I edit. And uh, also, the weather information is a separate overlay. It's just a regular overlay. It has nothing to do with the. Uh, GPS data. I just get the information from a website, crop out the weather for that day, because when I edit this, it, you know, it'll be a couple days or maybe even a month, who knows, by the time I edit this. Uh, I always, I, I'm so busy making videos, um, and it's more more of a craft and an art for me than a business. And, uh, you know, you could spend you could easily spend thousands and thousands of dollars on setting up uh, your your uh, adventure camera gear or bike riding gear. You know, some people get very expensive gimbals, a couple of very expensive gimbals, GoPros now with the stabilization that it has. I mean, GoPros are like 400 bucks, and you can't buy one. you got to buy like two as a backup. And uh, I have two Insta361s. What I like about the Insta 361, though, is that um, the front camera you see right there, mounted on the bike, acts as two cameras, but it's one camera because it has two lenses. And you'll see right here what I'm talking about. So I'm in the front view, and I notice on the bike the Insta 361 that's mounted on the handlebars is a lot smoother. And you would think that it would, you know, even though I have the suspension fork on, you think it would be a lot more bumpier. But for some reason, if you center it in the middle and it's on the handlebars, it's actually a lot smoother. 
these cameras, the Insta 361, have a stabilization, which is really awesome in my opinion. There's other 360 cameras that also do that. There's also other cameras that supposedly have stabilization. But the reason I like the Insta 361 is that it's simple, it's easy, it's small. Uh, I have the waterproof housing on it, so it comes as available waterproof housing. And compared to a gimbal and a camera, it's a lot cheaper. Even though this, at the time, I think I bought this uh, for $300. I think it was like $299 or something. Even then, it's I, I find that it's worth it because uh, it's more than just a camera. It's also a 360 camera. It has a fisheye lens, so it gives you a very wide lens. And it's basically two cameras. It's actually two lens, one camera. And uh, you, you'll see shortly that the front camera is a front viewing camera and a passenger or rider viewing camera as well. Even though the the microphone doesn't work that good, but still, it's it's a pretty good value. And you can see right here, see same same camera, right? Two lens, the front and the back. Now, the way I determine the front and the back is the lens that's higher is the front, and the lens that's lower is the back. Anyways, that's when you when you do your um, when you uh, I guess render it uh, and put a direction lock. So you, it's there's an option to stabilize and direction lock uh, the uh, footage. Otherwise, uh, if I don't put direction lock, every time I turned it moved, it's, it's, it stays in that view. So it would the view would move around as I'm turning left and right and everything. So direction lock actually points the uh, lens to where I want it, where I'm facing it. And so um, in that setting. Uh, you, you put like direction lock, and when I do that, it the front it always faces the lens that's um, on the the lens that's higher. So that's how I kind of determine that that's the front, and the lens that's lower on the two sides is the back. So here I'm riding, and at this point in time, the uh, chest mounted camera turned off. Uh, it, it must have run out of battery. I didn't bring um, I didn't bring my Apple, my iPad with me to download because my youngest was using it. So I figured I'd just go without it. And I did run short of memory. So, you, you know, I'd, so I couldn't uh, take that off the camera. I couldn't take that footage off the camera to ride again. So, but I did bring my battery pack. And the battery pack, I, I did charge as much as I could, but I did eventually run out of battery. No, well, I, I might have run out of memory before I ran out of battery. So, uh, you know, I don't know what the, um, I think 68 gigs. Anyways, 71 minutes, and I probably, I probably did that because uh, I got about an hour, a little bit over an hour of footage off of both camera. And I did run short of my ride. But overall, you know, the cost and my little uh, jerry rig of a setup is really great for action footage, in my opinion. Some people are really, really picky. But if you're just a casual rider and you're not like going, you know, uh, you're not doing flips or, or anything, uh, the, the setup I have with... Uh, a 360 camera that has stabilization is, is pretty good. And here I'm doing a clap, a sound check, I'm clapping. I'm very, and that's what I do at the end. And I actually um, also do the clock thing, which I don't, you, you can't see because the front camera is off. I only do it with the front camera. All right, so we're at the end of the video and uh, I'll continue on with the rest. But this should give you some idea. Um, there's a whole different other th part about this uh, post-production. Uh, the the uh, uh, GPS data has to match with the, the footage, um, getting it and matching it. Uh, and I, I essentially, for this whole period, if you haven't noticed, the data, the GPS data, just continues, right? And it creates a whole map. That's the whole map that I've 
created because the GPS tracker was was going for the whole five hours of the ride. I'm into like one hour and 42 minutes and 30 seconds of the ride. And basically, the GPS tracker just keeps going. That's going on in the background. And so as even though I had the video off and I'm not recording, the GPS tracker is going and I'm still riding my bike and doing my thing. I, I actually enjoyed today's ride because I didn't have to rush or anything. Did a lot of bird watching, got got some good sun, and it was nice and cool, so I didn't overheat. Anyways, uh, let's I'll probably get the rest of the video going, and so you all can enjoy. And uh, this is going to be not quite a complete video, but I think it's still an interesting video. Thanks, and uh, enjoy the rest of uh, of the footage. Hey everyone, welcome back. Oh, got a little bug flying at me. Wow, <laughs> this look, this place looked pretty washed out. Uh, the river was definitely overflowing. And look at this, look how much the river has gone down. But pretty much all of this was, looks like it was underwater just by looking at the erosion and everything. Wow. But the nice thing is that it smoothed out, it smoothed out this grade so it doesn't seem like a steep fall. And uh, amazingly, I found the original concrete right here. Look, the original concrete right here. So, found the original concrete. <laughs> this is where the, they laid the concrete, and you had a lot of space here, and it kind of, it kind of eventually dipped down like that. And, uh, anyways, the river's gone down, and uh, maybe in the summer here, I can more easily walk out and it looks like the it's a little berm here a little sand berm maybe I can launch my kayak from here maybe anyways uh, I'm just looking uh, I'm just looking for birds at this point in time I hear a lot of them but I don't quite see them I've been seeing a lot of birds actually so I'm actually pretty pretty happy about that so recharge the battery uh, let's get going. I want to go out to the out outlook here. Let me get my gloves on. How you doing, everybody? I'm really enjoying the bike and all the accessories. Makes it easy to carry stuff. Charge my batteries and just be overall overall enjoy the ride. Got my binoculars right here. Uh, let's go riding. I'm at the park, the local park here. It's gonna kind of you get to see firsthand. I'm gonna make sure this thing's on. Yeah, okay, they're both on. Yeah, I don't know if I had the, the last time I had them both on or not, but anyways. Uh. Here we go. They're, gonna need, they're definitely going to need to do some repairs here. Looks like it definitely over flooded quite a bit out of here several times. Looks like. Let's see what I mean. Uh, looks like they had some people walk here or horses out here. But look at that. Look at this <laughs> pass over. Just a little. Uh, look at that just sinking right here. Kind of makes a nice little uh, bike, and it's all covered in mud too. That's how much the water. This was probably covered in water. That's why it's also covered in mud. Soil got moved around pretty good here. Really good. Yeah, this is all pretty muddy. Obviously, the decomposed granite is not here anymore. Uh, really enjoyed the uh, subway sandwich I had. So, uh, not going too fast. I'm taking it easy. I'm actually see if I could spot some birds. I haven't been able to. Looks like they're really quiet right now. I'm on pedal assist one, gear one, and I'm here to. 
I'm just here to really enjoy the ride, just take it easy. I'll be going out to, over to the uh, other Outlook. We'll see how that how that fares. It's a little wet here. I'll take the left left corner here. It's a little bit drier. There we go. Got to avoid the mud on a heavy bike. This is a very heavy bike. I have it on first gear. The way I can have good torque, if I, for whatever reason, get caught up in in a mud pool. might just throttle. Let's just throttle. I barely used any battery, so gives me some good just throttle out here. All right. Oh yeah. Going up in a slight incline. Not a problem. Has enough torque to make it all the way up. Excellent. Oh, what a beautiful day. Let me just throttle. I'll throttle it. All right. Let me just throttle it. I right, pedal the. I have the uh, the uh, binocular bag over my shoulder, and it may bump up against the camera. So I slowly just uh, throttle out here. Thank you. Let's see if there's a... Sometimes it's really muddy here, but it looks like it's pretty dry. All right. I just had to pedal in front of those people to make it seem like I'm riding a bike. You know how it, <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, man, it's really nice out here today. Nice and sunny. Try to avoid some mud spots, soft spots here. Uh, this side seems to do, this, uh, this side seems to have fared better. Uh oh, looks like they, uh, they taper. Looks like they, uh, uh, cordoned off, I guess. I don't know what to say. Looks like they, it must have been really bad. The water, uh, must have really, uh, it must have been really bad for, for them to put up that sign. Uh, I suspect that Outlook is not in fair condition for them to put up that sign up there. So, oh well. That's a shame. And oh no, water! Lots of water. I'm not going to cross it. I am not going to cross it. It's not something I'm, I want to test out. I'm not going to test it out. Uh, so this is how much water came through. There's still a lot of water right here. Jeez. I mean, I could. If I had my frog togs, I would. But, uh, no, not, not today. Today's a nice, gentle ride. Not a mudslinging ride. Sorry. I've had my experience with mud and wet tires and everything. Oh, okay, let's get out of here. Let's go out back through the back way. And uh, let me just throttle. So I can, uh, so I can just get out of here. And then uh, I think my next stop will be the uh, the sports uh, or the clubhouse, and I'll be riding gently. So after I get out of this. Uh, this gravel trail. I'm probably going to stop and see if I can look for, see some birds here. 
on a bench somewhere, near a bench or on a bench, just take it easy. Or actually, I might I actually have to go to the bathroom, so I might stop by the restroom real quick. Although I prefer to use the, uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to go to the clubhouse. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. I'm going to go to the clubhouse. I don't like the the public restroom here. Anyways, uh, I don't see any birds out here today. I guess there's just too many people, or I don't know what it is. Anyways, uh, I will catch you all later. Let me just go through here real quick. And I'll probably just throttle on over to the uh, clubhouse. Oh, gee. Ugh. Ugh. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Another episode. Another episode of this very long day. Whew. I watched a lot of birds. Uh, I've been out here last... Uh, Maybe an hour. <sighs> I'm watching birds. <coughs> Saw some. Uh... It's a motorbike. Oh, yes, electric motorbike. <laughs> you said that a little bit? Did he do it by himself? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could just throttle. I could just throttle. You know? Just put yeah. it in the throttle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How fast he go? Um, 20. 20 miles an hour? Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. You having a birthday party? Yeah. Oh, whose birthday? You, you can hang around with a biker. <laughs> They're doing 20 miles an hour and you just sit over there. <laughs> yeah. How about the, on the climb? On the, on the climb? Yeah. It does okay, but you probably have to pedal. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. You know, 100 yeah, pounds. Heavy loop. Yeah, the loop, but... <clears throat> Boy. So whose birthday party? Who's the... Uh... 68 old. 60. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. How much a bike cost like this? Uh, it's, it's like $1,500. 15 yeah. Mm. yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh. Yeah, with a motor. <laughs> yeah. Because the regular bike is around 10000 now. The yeah, bike. Some, some regular bikes, yeah, 10000 I can't believe it, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's nothing in there except carbon. <laughs> you might as well just buy a car or something. It's know? good that I had, before they go up, I had the uh, carbon. Oh, yeah? Um, oh. I see. When the price is around four thousand. Oh, okay. After that, you go like. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> of course, well. uh, I bought a carbon wheel that's going up a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Carbon <laughs> anything seems yeah. to be expensive, right? Yeah. Oh goodness. All right. Well, I gotta. After that, I have my accident. So. Oh, you're not biking anymore. Not yet. No. I'll be riding maybe this summer. Okay. All that's right. The weather gets better. I brought this with. Your collarbone? Yeah. Oh, oh goodness. Well, hopefully you'll get better. They think you now. I'm expensive. Yeah. <laughs> they think you. Did they? Did they put a? Did they put a like piece of metal? Yeah, they think you now. Really? Jeez. You know, before uh, I I broke my collarbone, and you know all they did was just give me a strap, uh -huh. and that's it. They didn't put any metal, no surgery. They just uh -huh. let the bone heal. So it's cracked. Yeah, it's it cracked and but but and it's used crooked, you mm -hmm. know. They can stretch it as long as, you know, as long as it's going to heal like straight. But it's oh, no, it's like, not It's not straight. Mine like this. Oh, yours like that? So they have to put it up. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah, mine mine broke out. Mine was sticking out, and all they did was give me a strap mm. to pull my, to pull my you know, shoulder back, and that was it. Oh. And uh, it just fused crooked, you know. Just, oh, it's crooked. Nice. Yeah. It fused real good. Though. But... You know what? I'm still alive, and yeah. my I can't. You know, I can still move. So, all right. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah. Thanks for uh, chatting here. Mm -hmm. I gotta get That's home. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You should probably uh, consider getting one if uh, if you if you feel uh, like a little lazy. You know, <laughs> because I'm just gonna throttle home. I'm tired. <laughs> so, all right. I'll see you later. Oh, jeez. 
Have a good one. You know, I don't, I don't mind like, I don't mind talking to people, but you know, sometimes it's uh, I'm just trying to do something, go somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that conversation. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to leave it in or cut it out. Who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll put a little snippets in there. Why not? He's famous now. So I'm just going to throw it home now. I got four bars. And, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw it home. I'm not going to throw it hard. I'm just going to throw it So what I'm going to do is, uh... I'm going to turn off the, uh the chest mount and I'm gonna put on the uh, leave on the uh, the front camera to the car behind me I don't know why they're following me but okay they want to follow me for some reason Alright, so I'm going to turn off the chest mount. I'm going to turn off the chest mount. And, uh, alright. I put it on pedal assist 5, gear 7, so what if I need to pedal for whatever reason. So I'm going to turn off the chest mount and leave on the front. camera is still kind of on but it's not running it'll probably turn off by itself I hope so so I'm just gonna just throttle and go out to uh, I'm just gonna do my regular route nothing special the only difference is I'm gonna throttle from this distance it's about six miles probably about six miles of throttling and I'll do it high, do it low. Right now I'm doing it high at 700. Doing high at 700 watts. Because I'm on the road that's uh, a 35 mile an hour road. So I just want to keep up with the flow. And it's pretty flat here. I'll change it whenever. And I'll be, I won't be going fast all the time. Uh, it feels like a nice 60-ish, 60-ish. It's, it's getting a little cooler, I'm not feeling as hot. Of course, uh, enjoying some, I did enjoy some hot chocolate. I did enjoy some hot chocolate. And you know, the two, uh, the two pistols I have on right now, it feels pretty good. It doesn't seem to weigh me down that much. I don't think it weighed me down that much. So just pushing down on the cramp buster. Maxing it out. Down two bar battery bars now. I only have three bars left. We'll see if this is going to take me all the way home. Now I'm full throttling because uh, I'm on a kind of like a busy road, so I just want to keep up with the flow. I might get on the uh, let me get on the sidewalk here, and I'll go a little bit slower. I'm gonna put, turn on the chest mount. So, uh.
Oh, <laughs> dog poop. Nice. All right, everybody. I was uh, looking around and uh, I decided to just turn this way and I saw my first alligator of the year. Let's see if I can zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't know if you can see that. It's right, it's right there. I know it's a little hard to see. Let me see if I could get it in focus. But you see this? Uh, okay, there it is. You see this thing right, right, right there? Believe it or not, that's an alligator. And I'm wondering if I could uh, put it through the binoculars and have it show in the binoculars. Okay, let me see if I could do that with the binoculars. Have it show up. It's gonna be kinda, it's gonna be kinda tricky. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. Let me, uh, let me try to, let me try to do this here. See if it focuses. There it is. There it is. That's an alligator right there. So that's my first alligator. I've seen for the year. Wow, look at that. Thing's huge. Well, actually, it's not that big, but pretty big. Uh, just laying right there. I was a little surprised to see it, but it's warm enough, I guess. They're starting to come out. Anyways, check back with you all later. Bye.